This video involves different types of arthritis and the joints involved and the joints paired. So when we discuss about arthritis, there is joint space narrowing in arthritis. That joint space narrowing can be symmetric or asymmetric. If the space narrowing is symmetric and when you see erosions and soft tissue swelling, then it is categorized under inflammatory arthritis. If the joint space narrowing is asymmetric, and there is formation of osteophytes and sclerosis then it is considered as degenerative arthritis. So this is a broad classification of arthritis which is inflammatory and degenerative. When we discuss about the inflammatory arthritis, so when one joint is involved then it is probably due to infection. When greater than one joint is involved, if the proximal joints are involved or the distal joints are involved, it is again divided into two types. If the proximal joints are involved and there is no bony proliferation seen, then it is rheumatoid arthritis. If the distal joints are involved and there is a bony proliferation seen, then that is considered as seronegative arthropathy. In rheumatoid arthritis, you have rheumatoid factor in it. When that rheumatoid factor is negative, that is called as seronegative arthropathy. So, seronegative arthropathy's examples are pair, P-A-I-R psoriatic, ankylosing spondylitis, IBD, associated spond arthritis and reactive arthritis or Reiter's disease. So PAIR, P-A-I-R is seronegative arthropathy. Seronegative meaning that these four are rheumatoid factor negative. Whereas rheumatoid arthritis is rheumatoid factor positive as the name suggests. Now coming to the degenerative conditions. The degenerative conditions, the mnemonic is not. N O T C H N for neuropathic arthritis O is osteoarthritis the most important one in this classification and then T is for traumatic arthritis C is crystal deposition arthritis like gout and pseudo gout H is hemophilic arthritis so these are the examples that one need to remember in arthritis now let us discuss about the individual arthritis in the order wise so first we learnt about inflammatory, under inflammatory it was about uh, greater than one joint which is rheumatoid arthritis and then comes pair right. So now here it is rheumatoid arthritis and then this pair ones PA. So in rheumatoid arthritis remember it as ramp okay. That is for rheumatoid arthritis most common is MCP and then wrist and PIP. So remember like uh, if yeah one more awful hand diagram here yeah so if this is this is hand right so this is wrist and here comes mcp joint right metacarpophalangeal joint and then comes proximal interphalangeal joint so these three are involved in rheumatoid arthritis whereas the last one that is dip is paired okay in rheumatoid arthritis starting from wrist mcp pip are involved whereas dip is paired this is important now comes psoriatic arthritis. Psoriatic arthritis has something called as ray distribution. What is ray distribution meaning? If the little finger is involved, the adjacent finger is uh, not involved. So if one finger is involved, the adjacent fingers are not involved. This is called as ray distribution. So in this also, DIP is more than PIP for psoriatic arthritis. And the joints spared are the adjacent finger joints are spared. Coming to ankylosing spondylitis AS, sacroiliac joint as all of us know like this is the frequently asked in the most uh, well known thing that sacroiliac joint is most commonly involved in ankylosing spondylitis and the thing then the joints that are spared are wrist and elbow. So ankylosing spondylitis wrist and elbow are spared. Now this uh, concludes the inflammatory side. Now let us enter into the degenerative ones that is notch okay. So N O T C H right T is traumatic so there is nothing to learn like whichever the joint uh, is under trauma that shows the arthritis. So now we are left with N O C and H right. So first is neuropathic, neuropathic joint is otherwise called as Charcot's joint. So based on the uh, disease which caused this Charcot's joint uh, the joints involved differ okay. If diabetes is the cause then most common is star cell. If leprosy is the cause, then DIP and PIP. If syphilis is the cause, then knee joint is most commonly involved. So diabetes, leprosy and syphilis, tarsal, DIP, PIP and knee joint. 
coming to osteoarthritis most common joints involved are first cmc and dip whereas paid is mcp and wrist do you remember something that in rheumatoid arthritis mcp and wrist were commonly involved and dip was paired look at here mcp and wrist were commonly involved and dip is paired so exactly reverse dip is involved and mcp or wrist are paired in osteoarthritis so osteo and rheumatoid goes exactly opposite coming to hemophilic arthritis knee joint is most commonly involved and then crystal deposition arthropathy there are two important diseases gout and pseudo gout so coming to gout the crystals that are deposited are monosodium urate sodium is na plus right so everything is about n sodium is n they are needle shaped crystals and they are negatively birefringent n n and n coming to pseudo gout it is about p p and p so positively birefringent polygonal in shape and c p p d meaning calcium pyrophosphate dihydrate deposits so this is about negatively birefringent gout and positively birefringent pseudo gout this is crystal deposit so n o h and c are done that is notch is done and here rheumatoid arthritis is done in pair uh, p and a is done so finally this is the summary of arthritis and the important joints involved and the joints paired so guys if you want the pdf for this notes i can scan this and send on our telegram channel telegram channel and groups links are provided in the description below you can go and check there once so we have uh, already uh, done many videos on many other subjects must know topics for neat and inisa so please go check there once it will be helpful for you guys there is a lot of effort i put into making this videos it's not easy to concise the topics put them in an order and explain things so i'm trying my level best to simplify all the difficult topics for you so please support me by subscribing to the channel and also liking the content can also comment the topics of difficulty in the youtube section below thank you